the Lord will come, and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness, and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create the darkness. I make well-being and create love. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation rush out. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other? God? There is just, there is no just saying God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. For myself I swear, uttering my and my honor Every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be vindication and glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let the clouds rain down just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield in its crease, justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord does come with power. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, G John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. The Gospel of the Lord. Once again, good morning everyone. A little bit, a little bit warmer because of the two patio heaters that we have. Uh, we're gradually installing uh, patio heaters here, probably uh, for more in the coming days. One of the most meaningful and deep responses in the liturgy is the word Amen. It comes from the Hebrew word Amen, which means to make permanent, to be certain, to tell the truth. In other words, it is an act of firm adherence, adherence to God and His commandments. It is a response of full and undivided yes. Amen, or amen then, as a religious language, is not just used when we end our prayers. But particularly in the Mass, we use it as a response after we receive Jesus in the Eucharist. And if that's the case, Amen, our that simple response and yet that deep response, I mean, and yet sometimes really taken for granted because when we got used to saying something or doing something, in the long run we take it for granted or at times it loses its meaning. But really, when we respond Amen, when a Eucharistic minister or priest says the, bo uh, um, the body of Christ, that Amen is very deep. Because it is a response not just to somebody or someone or something, but it is a response to the Lord. And therefore, it is a covenantal response. When we say Amen then in the Mass, it should be taken as if really it is a divine pact or a solemn declaration of our yes to God. And that makes this, this Amen a deeper yes. Because again, it is not just said towards someone, but it is said towards a divine, the divine our God, Lord Jesus Christ. But how easy is this to turn this solemn religious language to a chip talk? After we said, Amen, yes, I do. But when we get home, when words are no longer necessary, then and then alone, the true test of our Amen here happens. Whether this Amen is meaningful has taken root in us, or it is just converted or transformed into a cheap talk. After we said Amen, we could ask ourselves, ourselves, do we actually believe on what I said, on my response? My brothers and sisters, let us remember that people know our virtues. 
Virtues are like fragrant flowers that emanate pleasing odors. And that is the same with vices. Our virtues are best expressed through our actions, the amen in our own actions. When the disciples of John ask about the identity of Jesus in our gospel today, for John, at that time, it was not very clear who Jesus was. But Jesus did not say anything. But instead, he presented his own actions. The blind regain sight, the lame walk, leper, lepers cleanse, then heard, then raised. Jesus' yes to his Father is not a cheap talk, but it is a great Amen. His Amen seen his actions. And as followers of Jesus, we must also translate the Amen that we say in, in, in our everyday life, especially in the celebration of the Eucharist. When we say Amen, we pray and hope that this Amen may be seen and come in our day-to-day -day lives. Amen. 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 Please stand. Let us present our needs and those of the world to our most gracious God. servants of the church. May the gifts of the Holy Spirit empower them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. For the world, may the blessed advent of Jesus bring peace among the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God. For the suffering and sick among us, may Christ's healing presence be among, upon them and bring them comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present, present in this assembly, may God fashion our hearts in this Advent season to see Jesus more readily around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for the souls of the faithful departed, may God's mercy bring them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for Dini Sandrini, who this Mass is offered. Lord, hear our prayer. I also particularly offer this Mass for uh, my grandmother, Lucia Quito, who is on her last days. May the Lord be with her at this time. May the prayers of the Virgin Mary be with her as well. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask that you answer them according to your good and gracious will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, 
be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the, the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without them we acclaim. Holy. upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and bless us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job.